Sex ed for people with IDD. Sex and consent. What does consent really mean? Consent means someone asking you for permission before they hugging or touching you. Consent also means you ask others for permission before you can hug or touching them. Consent does go both ways. People need to get your consent before they touch you in any way. And you need to get someone else's consent before you touch them in any way. Even your parents or other adults need to ask your permission before touching you. Even when you're a kid, having consent is really important. How do you know when you're ready to have sex? First, you have to find out if you can consent to sex. According to the law, you have to be a certain age to consent to sex. Remember, the legal age of consent is different in many states. For example, in Washington, you need to be at least 16 years old to consent to sex. But in California, you need to be 18 years old. If you have a legal guardian, this might be different for you. Talking about consent needs to be part of your guardianship hearing. If your guardian is set to make all your decisions, you need not legally be allowed to consent to sex. But even if this is the case, you might still be able to have a romantic relationship. Here are some questions you should ask yourself to find out if you're ready to have sex. Are you prepared to deal with the possible risks of sex, including getting pregnant, attracting a sexual transmitted disease or infection? Do you feel ready? Are you feeling pressured in this or is this something you want to do? Do you respect your partner and do you feel respected back? Are you comfortable in your body and are you comfortable with your partner's body? These are all important questions to ask. Why is consent so important? If somebody engages in sexual activity with you without your consent, that's sexual violence. People with intellectual and developmental disabilities experience way too much sexual violence. A seven times as much as people without disabilities. Some of the reason is a lack of sex education for us about our bodies. Another reason is some of us rely on others for care, and that could lead to abuse. That's why it's really important that even those who care for you have to get your consent. It is never your fault if someone does something to you without your consent. That's true. If your partner does something inappropriate, like touching you without your permission, or taking a picture without your permission, you have the right to say no. If something doesn't feel right, it probably isn't right, so tell somebody you can trust. And remember, your body is for you. Produced by the National Council on Independent Living and Rooted in Rights, with support from the With Foundation.